Welcome friends to Farm Fresh Design 59. Yes, I did post a video earlier today, but I wanted to do this video really quick because of a video that I saw earlier on YouTube. So I decided I would do a patriotic vignette, but instead of DIYing, I wanted to give you some ideas of things that you could maybe get together at your home to style a patriotic vignette for the upcoming weekend. So let's go through the different pieces. So the first piece that you're going to notice is an old metal little car that I got at an auction a long time ago. And um, it is more of the Americana red. And then inside of the back of that little Jeep or whatever kind of car it is, I'm not really good with cars and what they're called. This is a glass and it's got plastic teaspoons in it. And you're thinking, Myra, why would you put that in there? Well, when I was a little girl and we would go to my grandmother's house, um, she would wait until we got ready to sit down to eat for us to put sugar in our sweet tea. Well, as you can imagine, the tea was already cold and that sugar wasn't going to melt. And so it was always kind of funny because we were supposed to be drinking sweet tea and stirring the sugar in with these long teaspoons. And of course, it never tasted like sweet tea because the sugar would settle, <laughs> would settle down to the bottom of the glass, but we wasn't going to dare say anything. So when she passed away, I wanted those plastic teaspoons because I just always loved them so much. Now, the next thing that you're going to see are some old antique books. And it's not necessarily some books that I've read before, but I like to find old books at thrift shops. And I have found them at um, like antique places before, and I have to really love it. Um, if I'm going to buy it at an antique store, because sometimes they can be pricey. And I just put together a red and almost a white and a blue. Now, this wall pocket is something I have had probably 10 or 15 years. I'm not real sure. But I bought it at a festival. And actually, if you won't be able to see it really close. But that wood that is at the back of the wall pocket is a piece of barn wood that's painted that old red barn color. And then they took some burlap and they, I guess, stamped or however they got that flag printed on there. And it's stapled onto the back. And then it's just got some um, different greenery in there. And I've always thought it was so beautiful. And then that is a flag that I bought very inexpensively. And it, it looks like it's aged, but I actually dyed it in coffee. And if you've never dyed something in coffee before, you basically can just take some instant coffee, mix it with hot water, and when it gets warm enough to where you can stick your finger in it, not burn it, then that's when you would put it in there. Let it sit in there until you think it's as dark as you want it to be, and then pull it out, rinse it off a little bit, and see if it's dark enough. And if it's not, stick it back in there. And I just put that old flag in there. So it's not really old, it's just made to look old. Now, the next thing is a longer burger basket that I've had for a long time. And those baskets were really popular, I think, back in the 90s. Um, and they would have the special editions, and this one was one that had red and blue on it. Now, when I was a little girl, we used to play croquette. Did you play it? Oh, my goodness. Well, back when I was a little girl, we didn't have video games. We only had two channels on TV, and our only form of entertainment was going outside, and we had to find something to do. And so this is not left over from when I was a little girl, but this is something I saw at an antique shop, and I bought it. And it's got, of course, all the other pieces to it. And so those are just the croquet balls that are set inside of it. Um, and then there's the little um, the little thing that you hit with. I'm not real sure what I'm, you're supposed to call it. And then the little pins that you stick in the ground um, to kind of where you would guide it around. And if you've never played croquette, look it up on YouTube and watch it. It was a lot of fun when we were little. Now, those balls are pretty hard. So... Um, you, you wouldn't really want to be throwing them. And so the little mallet, oh, that's what it's called, the mallet, mallet um, it has red stripes on it. And um, the different mallets that it came with, it came with four, and it came with four mallets and four balls. And the balls would have the same stripe as your mallet. And so you would kind of go through this little course that you had created with these little wire hoops and hit the ball through it. Now, the next little piece 
is going to be um, a Tom Clark gnome. Um, back in the 90s, I think, late 80s and 90s, those were really popular around here. And it's not the kind of gnomes that you think about now, um, but they were pretty pricey back then. And I like this one. Um, and it looks like somebody that would be quilting together a flag, and it is not a flag, and she's just putting together a quilt. I mean, she's got a little bonnet on it, but it's got red and blue on it, and that's why I love it. So the next thing is a red child's rain boot. And we live out in the country. And when my grandkids come over here and we want to go walking through the woods or walking on trails, I always get them to wear rain boots um, so that they won't like get any bug bites or things like that. And I just stuck some faux greenery in it. And thrift shops are the best places to get old rubber rain boots that you might want to use for like floral arrangements and you can even put like live flowers in it and you can set them outside it's just if you ever want to spray paint them and turn them into a different color make sure you get the spray paint that you would use for something that's plastic so there's just some pieces that i just pulled together from things i had at home that symbolize the weekend that's coming up memorial weekend and being patriotic and if you are a service member or a veteran my hats are off to you thank you for your service to this country thank you for defending the freedoms that we have um, we honor you this weekend one of my former students went to west point and he was i'm just always been so proud of him now the next vignette is more of like the red, white, and blue that you would see that's fresh and new, and it's not old and vintage. And actually, um, when I decided to come up with this idea today, I just ran to Dollar Tree real quick and picked up anything that was red, white, and blue and kind of thought, well, I'll do something with it. So um, you're going to see some different pieces that are vintage, but that are also just things I picked up at Dollar Tree. Now that bunting that is hanging up on those like wood shutters, um, if you look real close, you'll notice that they're put up there with um, clear packing tape because I didn't want to put any more nails in those doors and um, I really hope it doesn't fall during this video because I had to tape it right much to make it stay. And so that's just something that I just got at Dollar Tree today and it's something that I might put on my porch um, tomorrow. Now, the next piece was my mother's cracker tin, um, and several years ago, she gave it to me because she knows that I like old tins. Um, were you one of those people? Did you used to get your crackers in tins when you were little, or did you? are you young enough to where they just came in cardboard like they do now? Um, they always came in tins when I was a little girl, and this one's really old, and my mother knew that I liked it, so she gave it to me. And these are some just brand new little flags that I bought at Dollar Tree. There were three in a pack. And so to be able to make it stay in there, though, I had to take some little plastic, um, like grocery sacks and stuff it in there so that the flags would kind of stick out because otherwise they would drop down too far. Now, the next piece, it's an old recipe book. And I just took a red bandana that I got at the Dollar Tree today, and I just tied a little knot around it. And it comes from a church that's local. I found it at a thrift shop, and I'm actually going to put it in my vendor booth um, probably this coming week because um, the church that created this recipe book a long time ago um, is is just a couple miles down from that vendor booth. So I'm thinking a customer is going to see it and think, oh my goodness, I want that. And this is just a little plastic hat, and it's got a little string on it. So I figure when my grandchildren see these, they're probably going to try to put them on their head. Um, kind of, they're kind of imitation of like a little party hat. And these are like little foam stars that are red, white, and blue. They have glitter on them. And I just kind of placed them, you know, in about three different spots. Now, the next thing is my version of a hang tag, a patriotic hang tag. Actually... It's a hair scrunchie, um, but I thought, oh my goodness, it kind of looks like a hang tag, and it's red, white, and blue, so I'll just go for it. And so I just kind of put it on the knob of that little drawer, and um, in my other videos, you've seen this. Um, it's a little baby doll drawer, and I 
kept this croquet set on this because even though the red is a little bit darker, I, I really like that. And it just symbolizes being outside, just like the recipe book. You know, um, we're going to be outside probably grilling and cooking this weekend and, you know, making apple pies and fireworks and that little um, thing that's got stars and little things sticking out of it. Actually, that is like a balloon holder, but I like it because it reminds me of fireworks. Now, the next thing is a wall pocket, and those flowers come from wall, um, Dollar Tree. Now, they're not the nicest looking flowers you'll ever see in your life, um, but they're from Dollar Tree, and they were red, white, and blue. I've had those actually a couple years, and the I put them outside on the porch, um, and I don't really worry about them because I didn't spend very much money on them, um, and I just put them in there. <laughs> The last thing I wanna that I decided to stick up there real quick was an autograph book. I found this today and I just started laughing because um, I don't know if you were like me, but when I was in middle school, at the end of the school year, we would like sign each other's yearbooks and write little notes to each other. Like, um, you know, you've got such a great personality, stay the same. Why did we say that? <laughs> I don't know. I get tickled thinking back on those middle school years. And we just would sign these little books to each other. And so this one was mine. And um, I will not be opening it up and reading to you some of the things that people said. But one thing I will tell you is there was a little boy that I had a crush on, and he wrote in my autograph book. So you know that was my favorite page. He has, um, I'm old enough now to where it's been a long time since I've been in school, and he actually has passed away. Um, but I have such fond memories of him, and I had such a major crush on him. Were we ever boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, no, but I still had a crush on him. So this is some things that you can just pick up from the Dollar Tree and as we celebrate the Memorial Weekend coming up. And it's just little inexpensive things that you can throw together. I didn't make any DIYs for this video, but I just thought it would be fun to make a little video and show you how you can put some things together because I get a lot of comments on how I stage things and I have a question. Uh, I do like to stage vignettes. So would you like a video just on how to stage vignettes? Let me know what you think. Um, I've talked to my mom about it a little bit and I can go into more detail, but if you're interested in how to stage vignettes, Leave me a comment and let me know, and I thought one video could be just vignettes of all different kind of things that you could pull together. So, I just have these two vignettes for you today, um, and I know that this is my second video. I hope that you like this video. Um, as I've talked about these different pieces of my vignettes, I hope it brings back sweet memories of you when you were a child. They do to me. And that's why I think I love antiques, because it brings back those sweet memories. Um, it doesn't bring back those memories of when I used to get in trouble, which was quite a lot. Um, but it brings back those sweet memories of like playing outside all the time and being outdoors. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And once again, thank you for your service if you are a military person.